morning guys. We're here on the island this morning. A beautiful sunrise, a stunning looking ocean. We just put out some baits with the drone, but we put out one bait so far. The current seems to be very strong, but hopefully that'll drop off as the day goes on. My dad and, and my mate Craig, they're busy baiting up over there in the, behind me. I'm uh, getting some baits ready to put out with the drone, and yeah, hopefully we find a bigger bite today. Waiting for a shark bite, I sometimes get a bit bored. So I take a plug and I start fishing for some garrick. The garrick haven't been around too much, but we've just seen a couple in the waves, so we're gonna try our luck now. I've got my Dawa XLA 11 foot 6, and my Dawa Saltiga 4500H. Uh, loaded with 20 pound braid, I'm gonna try catch a garrick with this now. I'm gonna throw a couple plugs around, maybe while, while we wait for one of the shark bites, we can maybe try and pick up a garrick or two. A bit of a rag bag, yeah. Something smaller. We'll see. Put it out. Not a big fish. But at least we got a bit of a bite here. Yeah, I popped in the rocks. Right guys, there's a little spotty gully shark that we picked up out in the deep. Not quite our target species, but a new species, a new species. So, yeah, actually I don't think it was a spotty gully shark, but more like a smooth hunt to be honest. Um, she's actually sitting in the gully there with Andrew now. So yeah, new species got on, I was using a 14 0 demon circle. That got her right in the corner. Bit of a big circle and I was fishing a whole bunny on that. Um, got on my dogfight lever jack 60. I was a little bit overgunned for her, I think. But yeah, good fun to get a big a, a bite. Morning guys, we're here at Sharks Point on a final morning. I'm gonna try to put out some baits of the Aqua Cats, try to get some bigger shark baits out there, and I hope you find a big grey shark or something like that. They're around 100%, so I think you just need the right baits. So. <laughs> so we just put some baits out with a drone. We got the Aqua Cat here that we want to send out some bigger baits with. So we're going to give that a bash just now, as soon as the sun is high enough so you can actually see the boat all right. Until then, we're just going to use a drone. And yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully this isn't the last show for the day. We'll check you guys soon. So we're trying something a bit different now. We put our uh, tuna head out 500 meters out with the drone. We're pushing it a little bit. Um, the bait was a little bit heavy for the drone. But fortunately, we've been using the drone for a while now, so we do know its limits, but I think that was pushing it a little bit. Good job, we got the baits out, let's see what happens. Hopefully we got tight. Drop the, uh, a, a tuna chunk of Uncle Jeremy. Uh, because he's a pilot, so I had to just hold, your, hold his rod on a drop so that they can, when he's finished uh, dropping, then I can give the rod to him so that he can catch one of those big donkeys. So we're looking forward to get one of the Zambezis or Tiger, which is that's the aim that we're aiming. Or anything grey or bronzy. And I think this morning we're gonna go tight. Right, guys, what I've got in front of me here is my Aquacat, um, Aquacat Dingle Hopper Turbo. We've been using it for a couple of years now off of these rocky points as well as all, all sorts of beaches to target the bigger sharks. The same concept as a kite or drone, um, it's just that you use a radio and yeah. So we're gonna put out a whole tuna now and see if we can't maybe find a bigger, bit of a bigger bite. It's a bit of a challenge to get the, the bait boat off the 
of the rocky points here, but we'll get it done. take a risk and put that coquette off the rocks. We've done it before. The sea was a bit up today, so there was nothing wrong with the actual boat putting it into the water. Um, so we launched the aquacat, took the bait out to about 300 meters and then the boat just stopped working. And it seems like the seal by the prop actually burst, allowing water to get into the aquacat. So we brought her close into the gutter and unfortunately when she was right in the front show, as we grabbed the line, the, the, the hatch that actually holds onto the bait, that actually opened. And yeah, that could get sank to the bottom of the ocean. But you know, that's fishing for you. That's Mazeppa Bay. And that's the ocean in general. It takes all the runs. So guys, on that note as well, um, I thought I'd talk about safety when it comes to the water and the rocks here. Guys, please, please, please. When fishing these rocky points, you need to watch the seas. You need to keep note of where the high water mark is and where the waves are washing up to. I've seen way too many people get washed off rocks by not being observant. And yeah, but stay, stay fishing guys. All right guys, we've just got a bit of a bite to uh, okay, no, growing again. What is this? Started off feeling a bit like a bag. Might still be a bag. I think it is a bag, should be up the top. But yeah, we dropped the tuna head out about, oh yeah. no, this isn't a, I don't know, strange fish. Uh, we put a tuna head out not too long ago, about 30 minutes ago. Yeah, got a, quite a nice bite here. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh yeah, it's not, I don't know what this no, is. it's not a raggy. Oh no, this isn't a raggy, guys. <laughs> it's not a raggy. Yeah, this isn't a raggy. I think we got a bit of a better fish here. Yeah. yeah. Let's stay here. Thanks, my boy. There we go. So guys, it looks like a bit of a better fish. Um, let's get it out. 80 pound gator braid on the back, 65 pound J braid on top. Good and nice for a better setup to target the giants of Mazepa Bay.
Okay, there we go, guys. Yes, please. Hard work and determination pays off. Well. Beautiful fish, well done. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> what a fish, guys. What beautiful fish. fish. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we'll watch this some more. So guys, it's been a very eventful day. We lost the aqua cat, and now we managed to land the most incredible fish in the ocean, in my opinion. You've got a nice tiger shark of 204 centimeters, three quarter length, what a fish. Dogfight lever drag 60, with 65 pound j braid doing the business, and the 8 to 12 ounce saltus rod. And again, thanks to Andrew for helping us lead that fish in. What a way to change the day, and change the mood of the day. It was a bit rough earlier, and yeah. So, so, so chuffed with that fish, so chuffed. Very happy for it. Very, yeah. very oh, beautiful fish. Beautiful uh, fish. Well I, I, it's my second one, and yeah, I'm just so stoked. They are absolute machines, and they're just so beautiful. So yeah, very, very stoked. Tackled well it the business. Yeehaw! Lekker, guys. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> yum, 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 yum.